like a number of Swedish electronic musicians in his orbit, Axel Bowman, whose studio Barnhus label he has recorded for Young Lean, for whom HES made beats, Baba Stilts is a trickster at heart. An early EP, Our Girls, was simply the same song at progressively slower tempos devolving from a jovial skip to a woozy, tape warp crawl. But the 24-year-old producer is a joker with the heart of gold. One of his first singles, 2013 Sometimes, interpolated a snippet of Etta James Something's Got a Hold on Me, the same song his famous countryman Avicii had popularized for many DM fans the year before, without a trace of sarcasm. Stilts twinkly deep house boasts the bright colors and rounded contours of a plastic toy, and when he sings a characteristically love besotted plea himself ish, can help it, I love you so much he really sells it, his croon gooey with a surfeit of pure feeling. Chalk it up to his youth as a ballet dancer, Stilts soars Gracie over thorny barriers of taste that would trip up a more heavy-handed artist. He can play it straight when he wants to, and he never beats listeners over the head with his eccentricity. But in recent years, he has increasingly let his quirks come to the fore, or near the fore. Draping his sometimes goofy, clearly untrained voice in a silky scrim of autotune, he dances around the question that invariably comes to mind, is this guy for real showtime as his debut release for the iconic British independent label XL. It's not hard to imagine that the title alludes to the step into the spotlight that signing to such a storied imprint might entail. And while the music doesn't make a significant break from Stilt's previous work, it's clear that helps leaning into his pop proclivities. All four tracks showcase his voice, and only the two B-side cuts, the diaphanous serve and the punchy amaze, which drizzles syrupy autotune over a crisp, synth-heavy groove, are key to the sound and energy levels of contemporary left-field house. On the A-side's two showcase tracks, the emphasis falls squarely on the producer's heavy-lidded Lothario persona. It's a good look. Showtime is particularly fun. Between his boomy register and his boastful sweet talk, Stilts comes across a little like Johnny Cash singing Drake lyrics. Over lowing RB horns and snippets of doo-wop vocals, he unspools a of consciousness tale of a DJ with a good soul, flitting from wry hedonism. They say the drugs don't work no more, they seem to work just fine to boilerplate braggadocio of the bags of money variety whose naivety is worth its weight in imaginary gold. The beat is druggy and playful, organs and guitars stretch and contort willy-nilly, and odd, extra beats cheery wrongfoot the groove when you least expect. Stilts sums up his whole philosophy with a cheerful diss directed at no one in particular lol on your whole life, followed by a burst of sheep-like sampled laughter and a shrugged confession, grown man with a whole lot of downtime. Situation strikes a similar balance between stoner soul and unrepentant silliness. The sampled groove sounds like it's trapped in a waterlogged cardboard box. His come ons cause why situations call for why measures. Sexy situations like you and I tonight are about as suave as someone whispering sweet nothings with a half dissolved gob stopper in his mouth. Stilts is basically a big, wet dog bounding out of the water and shaking his fur, gly oblivious to any discomfort he may cause that he sounds weirdly like Odelay era Beck here may or may not contribute to that discomfort. The song is fun and fresh, if admittedly a little low stakes, like the EP itself. It would be nice if more of the production had the sizzle of his best work. With just four tracks totaling less than 12 minutes of music, Showtime feels like a teaser what Baba Stilts does next remains to be seen. But if the Swedish heartthrob with a sly grin and a whole lot of downtime figures out the right balance of chic and sincerity, we could have a pretty scintillating situation on our hands.